ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are dynoing the TDI that could finally on the 2872 big turbo from Dark Side Developments. So we are gonna be giving this car the absolute beans today before we start cranking some more power out of it. We did just actually put a new DSG tune on the car today as well to be able to handle a little bit more torque and to be able to bang that limiter a little bit harder in the TDI. So we're finally getting this thing hooked up to the dyno pack dynos here. So this is a hub dyno. This isn't a roller dyno, so we're not gonna see any crazy wheel movement or anything today. But um, this car originally made 230 wheel and about 340 foot pounds of torque at the wheels um, on the 2260 that was on it before. If you watch my other video, we took that turbo out because that turbo was absolutely toast. And we've gone to a 2872, so pretty decent size upgrade and it is the biggest bolt-on turbo you can get for these cars. So we're gonna go ahead and give this thing a run for its money and see how much power we can make. We do have ARP head studs to put in this motor um, along with hooking up some nitrous, turning up the boost and seeing how much this motor can make stock. We do have a spare CJAA block um, on standby, so we're gonna find out. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel and watching this video for the first time, this is my 2011 Mark VI TDI. It does have quite a bit of extensive work done to it. Um, the only stuff that really matters today is that this is a big turbo TDI, so this is a CJAA block. Um, stock injectors, common rail TDI. Um, it has a Dark Side Developments GTD 2872 turbo on it. It's got a Borg Warner intercooler, custom intercooler piping, full three and a half inch stainless steel TIG welded exhaust all the way back. It's hooked up for nitrous, ASV, delete, EGR, DPF. Um, everything is fully deleted on this bad boy. We've got a custom intake that actually picks up in the fog light grill of the Golf R bumper we have on this car. Uh, four bar map sensor. I'm trying to think what else we got on here. That's about it. We do have bigger injectors to put in this car as well. We do have it set up for nitrous. We are gonna set up the module pretty soon here. So don't forget to subscribe for that if you're new here and you wanna see this thing absolutely kill some people on the street and at the drag strip. Um, and then, like I said, we do have ARP head studs to go in here to hopefully save this head gasket and not get it to lift. Uh, we're just waiting for it to warm up now so we can do a couple pulls, fire the fans on and find out how much power this bad boy makes. Um, I'm hoping for somewhere in the 250 wheel horsepower range right about now with getting close to the 400 wheel torque. Um, and then hopefully once we get the injectors in, they're saying it'll probably make another 20 horsepower with the injectors. And then God only knows with the nitrous, we'll find out. So I'm gonna put you guys on the stand and uh, let's run this bad boy on the dyno.
good poles, so <laughs> we'll see. All right, so I will get a more accurate dyno graph tomorrow because I have no idea what has happened with the torque figure over here. And I can tell you right now, this thing doesn't make 1,200 foot-pounds of torque. <laughs> um, the wheel horsepower is probably accurate. So our best run today after everything kind of like started shitting the bed and the dyno wasn't happy with us, we made 234 wheel horsepower at about... What RPM is that? Uh, let's say that's about 4,800 RPM. And I know our torque figure was about 346 foot pounds at the wheels. So that's gonna do it for how much power we're gonna make out of completely stock engine hardware. Um, we are making about 40 PSI on this tune right now. Um, so in the future, which will be very, very soon, uh, we're gonna be going up to a little bit more as we're gonna be having ARP head studs and also those upgraded injectors. So we're probably gonna push this thing um, a little bit farther. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, if you're new to the channel and you wanna see the TDI make a little bit more horsepower, do not forget to subscribe. Uh, like this video, share it with your friends, leave a comment. Let me know what I should do to the TDI to make some more power. Um, I would like to crack this thing into 300 wheel. That would be super, super sweet out of a TDI that can still get great mileage on the highway. But anyways, guys, peace out. I will see you in the next video.